10 ones makes 110, let's learn something new and interesting today. Remember the place value house and its rule one digit in one room? Good. And look, today this place value house has a new room, the hundreds room. Now I have 9 tens in the tens place. Let's count to be sure. 1 ten, 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens, 6 tens, 7 tens, 8 tens, and 9 tens. So what number do we get from 9 tens? Absolutely correct. We get the number 90. But wait a minute. I see another 10 has just joined the tens place. But the tens room is not letting it in. Why is that? Because 9 tens plus 1 ten makes it 10 tens. So I have two digits now in one room. And I am breaking the rule of one digit in one room. Remember, when we had nine ones in the ones place and one more one had joined, we had moved them to the next room, which was the tens room. Similarly, now that we have 10 tens in the tens place and we know that we cannot have two digits in one room, we will group them together and move them to the next room, that is the hundreds room. First, let's count and be sure that we have all the tens. Remember, this is one group of ten. So let's count. Ten plus ten is equal to twenty. Twenty plus ten is equal to thirty. Thirty plus ten is equal to forty. Forty plus ten is equal to fifty. Fifty plus ten is equal to sixty. 60 plus 10 is equal to 70, 70 plus 10 is equal to 80, 80 plus 10 is equal to 90 and 90 plus 10 is equal to 100. Now we will form a bundle using all of them. Now we have a bundle of 10 tens and we know that 10 tens is equal to the number 100. So we will place it in the hundreds place. So now here we can see that there is nothing under the ones place. So we will write the number 0 here. There is nothing under the tens place. So again we will write the number 0 here. And as we already know that this bundle of tens is equal to 100 so we will write the number 1 as 100 is represented by the number 1 so here it is we write the number 100 like this 